Hi, everybody. I'm Tim Gaymeyer, superintendent of schools here in the Mount Pleasant Area School District. Joining me today is Scott Breyer, a longtime professional here in the Mount Pleasant Area School District. I believe you said it was 24 years. 24 right? years, yes. <laughs> 24 years in a variety of capacities. And, uh, you know, now he's serving as the Norvell K-3 principal. Uh, last year, I know, was Norvell and Donegal for several years. Right. It had been in both buildings, but this year his focus will be on Norvell K-3, but when I say 24 years, can you give everybody a little? Yeah, uh, um, you know, I was in, I, I taught at the high school for um, for eight years. I've been at Norvelt now for the last uh, Norvelt and Donegal for the last 16. Um, love it, love elementary school. Um, prior to that, when I was at the high school, I, I uh, coached football and coached baseball. So um, I've been involved with the with the community outside of the class yeah. and outside of the buildings. But um, really looking forward to. Um, Getting back to school and, and and meeting some new kids and seeing some familiar faces and getting to the point now where um, kids I had as students are bringing their kids back to to be students again. So it's uh, always nice to for a new start in the school year. Absolutely, and I know throughout that that history, uh, you know, Scott had talked about. I know one year he actually served in junior high. Under high principal, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, and interesting, interesting. We talk about that. And several folks have taken on a different. Uh, Role that particular year, and it gave our administrative team a really unique perspective of the entire district. So, and then you settled back into your your elementary capacity. But uh, as we go into every year, things always happen over the summer that people really have no idea what's going on. Preparations were scheduled, building uh, repairs in the building. Can you talk a little bit about what's happened at Norvell over the summer? Sure. Well, the normal summer routine: um, the uh, cleaning, waxing floors, cleaning classrooms, getting all that prep work. Uh, our buildings always look great. Yeah, they do a uh, tremendous job. Maintenance does a, a great job in the summer. So, um, you know, and, and the parents and the kids will see that on Welcome Back Night. Um, the big difference in our um, our buildings this year, it's it's not so much cosmetic. It's more on the technology side. Um, a lot of new technology in the classroom, new new Chromebooks for the, for the students. Um, our classrooms are now completely wireless in terms of um, our Tango boards and our our Elmos that our teachers use. So it allows our teachers the freedom to move around the classroom. Uh, we really have emphasized the last couple of years our, our teachers working in small groups with the kids. So um, this gives them a little more freedom to room around the classroom, really uh, engage kids in lessons, bring them into the lessons. So um, the, the upgrades in technology just kind of go hand in hand with what we're doing in our approach to um, providing small group instruction and moving kids around the classrooms. So um, it, it, it's, it's a, that's a nice added. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah. Now, I know over the summer you've also got acclimated with the retirement of uh, Mrs. Keita, who'd been there for several years. Uh, now you have a new secretary that you've welcomed in. You want to? Right. Uh, yeah, um, Mrs. Keita um, retired, um, well-deserved retirement. Judy did a great job for us. And um, uh, new face at Norvell is Crystal Trice. Um, so please, when you, when you come to the building, she'll be there on welcome back night. Um, feel free to say hi to Crystal. Um, you know, I'm, she's, she's done a great job over the summer. Uh, very busy, but, um, it's a lot to catch up. Yes, yeah, she, she has a lot to catch up on is she has big shoes to fill. Judy did a great job for us. So, um, but, um, I think we, I think that, um, we have a good one in place. I think Crystal's going to do a great job. Excellent. Well, you, you, you touched briefly there on welcome back nights. So for those folks coming in on Welcome Back Night, what, what can they expect when they come through the doors? Like, what are the different things you have in place for people to to witness on that evening? I, I think the big thing for Welcome Back Night is just to have have the kids get, get used to the building. Yeah. Um, uh, you should know who your teachers are by then. You come in, see the classroom. Uh, the teachers will typically have packets available to you. Um, some information we need back from you in front of them emergency cards and things like that, just basic forms that we have you fill out. But the teachers will also have um, different items available for your students that night um, just so we can start the year off running. And, and it's nice. The kids love coming back, seeing who they have, oh, yeah. you know, running into their friends again and, and just, you know, seeing where their locker is going to be, where the classroom is going to be. So uh, it's a, it's always a good night to, for unwelcome back night to have everybody back in the building and um, see those smiling faces front and around. It's always a good night. And I think parents also had the opportunity, if I'm not mistaken, to see representatives from DMJ, our transportation provider. They'll see folks from the nutrition group uh, nutrition. To, to introduce themselves. So 
I feel like yeah, think, yeah, PTO. As well, so yeah, some organizations that you will uh, come in contact with throughout the, your your child's career at, at Norvelt and in the Rams, he will will be there. Yeah, a lot of useful information. A lot of information, right? Correct. So, and when we go into the twenty four twenty five school year, I, I know uh, in keeping touch with you over the the last couple months, there's been a, some tweaks to the schedule. There's been excitement building, and a lot of what's been happening in in Norvelt with uh, your multi tiered system of supports and and your small groups and excitement when we look at the the growth. Like you looked at individual student data, and, and my goodness, where they started with with some of the, the testing and where they've come to, uh, just knowing the the supports and the interventions and enrichments you're putting in place are are really really moving along. So right. can you explain a little yeah, bit about and, that? And, and it all starts with you know what our teachers are doing in the classroom. Our teachers um, have really um, you know taken this by the reins and have, have bought into what we're doing. And um, we really look at a lot of student data and we break it down and we can determine exactly what each student needs, whether it's enrichment or, or interventions. Yeah. And, um, you know, for me, it's easy. It's just providing them the opportunity to work with their kids. Um, they, they, they take that and run with it. Um, they have, uh, we have 120 minutes during the day where we kind of break up and work in small groups and teach teachers are really able to, um, you know, work with, with groups of three or four students at a time. Uh, we've seen tremendous growth in our reading because of that. Um, really, um, you know, our, where our, our incoming first grade class is, is amazing what our kindergarten teachers did and what our, our, our first, second, and third grade teachers have done um, in, in just continuing that system. Uh, we've really laid a very, very strong foundation for our reading and and that's been our focus for the last year yeah. and a half has really been reading. Um, then we're moving in now to, you know, we started doing a lot of the same things with math towards the end of last year. And, and we're going to bring that up to the same level this year. But I'm very excited about the numbers. We've seen the teachers were very excited. We saw a lot of growth with our kids last year. And we're just going to continue to build that program. And listen, then that's, yeah, I mean, that's exciting for the entire district right. because, you know, the stronger the start, the stronger the finish, they say. And, and boy, Getting all that together down there and having your staff embracing it to the point they are, it's been it's been really exciting to follow over the last couple of years and to see where it's at. So, you know, thank you to you, your leadership, and, and, the, and the staff in the building. It, it's great to see that happening. And to the benefit of all the students. Absolutely. The parents. Uh, any specific items that parents would need to know as the school year uh, begins here for 24-25? Um, I think... You know, in in your your child's classroom teacher will do a great job of doing this, but they they set up their communication systems. Make sure that if it's Remind or Class Dojo, that you're you are enrolled in that program as soon as you can. Um, and I think the big thing it, it um, you know from my end at Norvell is just um, we we send directions out for uh, drop off and pick up. Um, you know, that'll be in your welcome back letter. They just be familiar with that um, and understand that, especially pick up at the end of the day, um, the need to be there at, at 3, 320, 325 when we start calling kids. Um, you could come after buses. Um, you know, we, if you're not familiar with the pickup at, at Norvelt, um, we start calling walkers or, you know, students who get picked up by their parents at like 325. There's a rush of people, and it's usually gone by by three thirty. Then the buses came come in, and our busing company does a great job of getting everybody out of there. We have a very efficient system. Our our teachers are are on the ball. Um, we we walk kids in buses. It's very efficient. We're actually have all the buses out of there by three forty at the latest. Yeah. Um, and the we were the yeah, first week. It'll take a little bit. What do you think? You're right. A bit long. Before then, after right. that, you know. Um, we're there, um, you know, we will be happy to hold your kid. You can drive right up to the front door and pick them up, sit of wait for 20 minutes at, at 320. So, and, and, and Norbelk's, you know, it, it's sort of, it's, a it's, it, 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 it's one way. I mean, it, it's a one way system, takes a lot of coordination. Right. And it's 450, you know, yeah, 450 or five, five kids. Five year it, old. So it's, you know, it's, we got them uh, under there pretty quick, yeah, but, uh, great job with it. You know, if you if you don't want to get caught up in all of that, um, believe me, your students won't, your, your child won't mind hanging around and, and talking to a couple of the other kids that, that, that wait as well. So that's right. I mean, that's that's my. That's always. I think that's everyone's concern. Is that end of the day, 
um, and just getting that to be a little bit more efficient. But I, I think the big thing is to set up that network of communication with your, your child's classroom teacher. They do a great job of it. They Our, our, our teachers do a great job of communication Absolutely. with the student or with the parents. And, um, you know, the sooner you get that set up, the sooner things get rolling. And, and, and you know, once that happens, or or we get things like well ordered machine down there. Yeah, absolutely. So. Anything else at all there, Mr. Briard? I mean, I, I appreciate it's been a lot of information, good conversation. And excited to get started. Always looking forward to uh, to for the little guys coming back in. You know, they they have they bring in excitement to school, and it's it's fun to work. Sure. So I'm looking forward to that start. Well, thank you for your time. I appreciate absolutely. the conversation this morning, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the conversation. Found out a little bit about Norvell Elementary and Mr. Scott Briard. Thank you. Have a good day.